G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix, and I'm glad you're here because of today's episode of Let's Remember. Let's Remember, sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. We're taking a look at a little game called Zargon. Now this is a special episode because it's the first episode I've done purely on a recommendation of sorts. Recommended by, uh, user Damien Capello, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. He put me onto it because he said he considered this one the spiritual successor to a game called Dark Ages. Which I played before and I kind of was a bit harsh on, I didn't like it very much. But he says this one's a lot better. He considers it a spir spir tr spiritual successor because the character looks quite similar and he has a very similar set of powers. So let's uh, jump into this. I'm going to spare you the story and give you an abridged version. You are an archaeologist named Malvin Malvinius Haversham. You basically were investigating some ancient ruins. Hang on, what does this say? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened to me. I'm in a place like none I've ever seen before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was basically investigating ancient ruins and then he got poisoned or something? He started hallucinating and woke up in this strange new world, ruled by an evil being known as Zargon. That's what I can glean from it. Malvinius begins his journey into the strange new world. Look at the way he comes out of the ground like that. Whoa, Terminator 2 style. Now this one was developed and published by Epic Mega Games in 1993. And that is officially all the information I can give you. Now let's just, oh god, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never ever played this. That thing over there looks like, reminds me of a Paramite from Abe's Odyssey. Kind of bipedal Paramite. Well, what's this? Wow, an extra laser bullet. So I can run, I can jump, I can shoot, I can shoot laser bullets out of my crotch. Sweet. One of those powers I wish I had in real life. Collect fruit to earn extra health. You will receive one health bar for every 16 fruits you find. 16, huh? Bit arbitrary. I should look at my uh, status screen down here. I've got score, health bar, inventory shows my fruit. Emeralds, I don't have any emeralds. Press the up arrow key to walk through doors, okay. Oh, there's emeralds in here. Too late to turn back. I don't like the sound of that. The emeralds are very valuable and can be used to buy needed items. To access a menu of choices, simply simply press the letter B. Okay, so there's like a portable shop I can carry around with me. I guess. I can just buy shit whenever I feel like it. Health unit, laser, rapid fire. I will keep that in mind. Thank you, game. Ugh. Okay, get the emeralds, avoid the spikes. Pretty straightforward. Oh, and I failed anyway. I want that emerald. Oh my god. It's harder than it looks. Too late to turn back, huh? Well, I turned back, so I guess you are a liar. Dirty, rotten liar. Wall rider. And uh, I, th I think there are four volumes in this game. As with many other DOS games, they released it in kind of episodes. So there's either three or four episodes. I'm not sure. But this is the first one. Volume 1, Beyond Reality, as you can see down the bottom there. During the course of the game, you will come across treasure and chest, gift-wrapped boxes, and special mystery boxes. You can examine the contents of any of these by shooting them. Caution, some of the boxes contain nitroglycerin and will burst into flames. Well, that's just lovely. Let's shoot some boxes then. Okay. So if I crouch and shoot, I can shoot lower or something? Oh, I can... What does this say? The laser bullets can be controlled after you fire them. Press the up arrow key to move the bullet up. Press the down arrow key to move the bullet down. Okay, so let's try this. Whoa, totally controlling of the bullets, man. How does he do that? Controlling them with his mind. I wish I had more control than that, but whatever, can't complain. Ah, kill the paramite thing, whatever it is. These things are creepy, man. They're like, ugh. They're like a big set of fangs on legs. Oh, look, it's biting itself. It's like it's itchy or something. Gross. 
Hmm, this doesn't look good. Is that a computer I saw out there? Let's go check it out. Die, you itchy bastard. Ooh, what was that noise? Ah, there's so much stuff. Interesting sound effects on this one. Ah, oh, sweet, I just got a computer. A 2,000 point computer. Ah, die, die. Oh, okay. You gotta bear with me, I'm not good at this, obviously. I've never played it in my life. But I'm getting the hang of it a little, maybe. Where do I go now? Oh, health, thank you. Exit. Big flashy exit sign, alright. Malvinius returns to the safety, okay. So this is my overworld map, as you saw earlier. Uh, reminds me of, of course, Commander Keen. Which I have yet to look at, but don't worry, I will. If you're hanging out for it, anyone. <laughs> the game can only be saved when you're on the map level. Now would be a good time to save the game. Press S. You got it, buddy. I will save it into slot one. I'll be fancy feli. Works for me. What's this thing? Another level? No, these are information. Journal entries. Use the arrow keys to scroll. I can't understand this place. I find it hard to believe it's even real. It must be a dream. Maybe if I'm dreaming. Maybe I'm dreaming or uh, in a coma. What if I'm dead? Oh no. These are heavy questions you're asking me, Melvinius. I'm not sure if I have the answers you want to hear. Okay, I can't go up there. I guess maybe I'll find a key of some sort. X, that. Ooh, strange new dimension. Okay. Oh, this level looks a bit different. Cool. What's an R do? Now I have rapid fire. Whoa, look at that! Now my crutch bullets have turned red and they're firing out in more rapid succession. I like that. So, how does this compare to Dark Ages as Damien mentioned? Well, I do- whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 get the hell away from me. I do see similarities in the character. He has got the blonde hair and the tank top and the blue pants. And he does shoot these laser things out of his crotch. And the inventory type hub. The heads up display at the bottom there is quite similar. So yeah, I, I, I'd say you're right, buddy. This is, uh... This does seem like a better version of Dark Ages in some ways. Definitely a lot prettier, and look at that. Look at that. Whoa. It's like a giant centipede that bursts into all its segments explode, and you can collect them as points. I love it. Give me some strawberries. Ah, wasp, get away from me. Oh, there's the exit already. Oh, get the Oh my god! Whoa, those things just bite the crap out of you! There's like, no invincibility frames. So, once you get hit, you can't just duck for cover, you're gonna get bit again and again and again. I don't like that. But, what are you gonna do? Are these levels just really short, or am I just... Should I be exploring more? I should probably be exploring and finding the little emeralds, I guess. Ah, okay, it's not a short level. It's asking me to find a key. Oh no, no the centipede. There's a lot of slowdown on this game, and I'm not sure if that's because uh, the DOS games aren't emulating well on a modern computer, or it was originally like this, because it does have bursts of smoothness. I'm going to guess that this is partly an emulation issue. Which means this is quite a smooth scrolling game, which is nice. Ah, uh, no, get away from me. Is it just me or is the music getting faster? I think the whole game's getting faster. Look how fast I'm running now. It's just when I jump that things slow down. Yeah, if I just run. Gradually picks up speed and smoothness. Mmm. Strawberries. Alright, so where am I going to find this key exactly? Any suggestions? I'm open to your opinions. If anyone can hear me right now. What the hell? Listen to that thing. Ugh. Oh, that was really dumb. That was really, really dumb. No, but I heard this weird noise when I... 
I can't drop down on these ledges, by the way. I have to make my way down there the uh, the old-fashioned way. Uh, but no, that... That thing makes a really weird noise when I shoot it. Let's see if it will do it again. Listen. Come on. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! Whoa! Why are you shooting me? I'm just a, just a little centipede who's thirsting for blood. Whoa! That's hilarious. This game has some really wacky sound effects. So the sound effects I like, the music is pretty meh. It's alright. Gameplay. It's pretty good for the time, I reckon. It's a shame about the, all the slowdown I'm getting, but I can see there's definitely a good game hiding behind all that. I just don't know where to find this key, and it's frustrating me now. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh. Okay, kill you. Maybe the key's up in this top left hand corner. No, that just leads up there. I don't want to go back up here. I'm going to finish this level, damn it. I've got to finish this level. Where is it? This is a bit maze like. Oh, come on, uh, what's my guy's name? Malvinius, right, right, come on Malvinius, we can do this. Mm, let's, no, where the hell is the freaking? oh, there it is. Give, thank you, I found a blue key, now I can get the hell out of this nightmare. Grab me some help, I don't think I needed it, I do now. Ah, wasps, wasps are the worst enemy in the whole game so far. I hate them, hate them, stay the hell away from me. Okay, where, where's my ex- No, get away from- No! God damn. I love how it plays like electric guitar whenever you touch a strawberry. Malvinius returns to the safety of the map level. What? <laughs> I've been here nearly three days now. Surely if this were a dream, I would have woken by now. I've had several close calls, those strange green creatures. What, the Paramites? Nearly had me a couple times, I'm going to assume that this is real until I have a reason to believe otherwise, or else I may really be dead soon. Ooh, I have a choice of level. Well, I'm gonna go this way then. The Forest of Enchanted Trees. Whoa, and look, it even says epic there. A lot of these uh, developers in the DOS era love to sneak their, um, well not sneak, it's pretty blatant, but chuck their chuck their company names or programmers would sneak their names into the games which I think is pretty cool but when it's that blatant it takes you out of the experience a little bit what is this big ogre type deal and there's little arrows trying to guide me around maybe I should spend some emeralds I haven't done that yet I'm gonna buy a fireball how do I use a fireball I don't know I just bought like Six of them? How do I use them? Uh, oh wow, okay. That's how, you just press the normal shoot button. It just replaces your laser. That's cool, I guess. wonder if there are any boss enemies in this game. If so, I recommend you save fireballs for them. Not like I just did. Okay, where do I go? Uh, ooh, baseballs. Giant baseballs. Ah, oh, key. Sweet. Use key to open gate on map. Is that... Okay, cool. Open this. For ten oranges, baby. Okay, where do I go now? I can't see any... Yeah. Whoa. Crates are raining from the sky. Open this. Oh, no. I'm out of fireballs. That sucks. Ow. I gotta be more patient, I guess. So it looks like a fireball... Oh, okay. Looks like a fireball is worth about two or three laser bullets. Interesting. I don't think it's worth spending emeralds on them now, actually. 
What's this? Yeah. A shield of invincibility, oh yeah. Now I can just run around and do whatever I please. I can even walk on spikes. I thought those were spikes. They were not spikes. Man, there's so many of these ogre things around. What is that thing over there? I want it. Whoa! What the frick? You enter the submersible underwater pod. The SUP. This reminds me of Earthworm Jim. Under the tubes, if anyone else remembers that. A very, very frustrating... Did I just say Epic Mega Games 1994 again? Ugh. Anyway. Earthworm Jim Under the Tubes. If you've ever played that level, you will know it can be quite goddamn frustrating, and it was similar to what I just did there. At least the pod was. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I think we've seen a good amount of, uh... A good amount of this one. Wait, what the hell is this even called? Zargon, right, 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 right. Zargon's the name of the evil ruler of this land, supposedly. I don't know. But yeah, this was Zargon. Interesting game. Definitely like it more than Dark Ages. It's more colorful and pretty and just animates more smoothly. And it's got these totally wacky sound effects that I love so much. But yeah, we're gonna wrap it up now. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a like if, 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 if it's not too difficult. Like, uh, I'm not gonna beg you, but it genuinely helps. And uh, subscribe and leave me a comment if you'd like to see more of this in the future. And as so this video was uh, recommended to me, you are more than welcome to recommend me any other games you would like me to look at. If not, that's fine. I have a very, very long laundry list of stuff I really, really am excited to get into. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.